when suffering has not been democratized, it's almost impossible to find the consensus for resistance. Because now, the suffering is going around sufficiently. Whether you are a Yoruba that is Ronui, or a Yoruba that has Ponu, whether you are normally a normal call, whether you are Yachukudi, or you are Damberibe, whatever you might care to be, everybody is chopping the breakfast in Nigeria currently, and I am hoping that in the coming days, we will find the capacity to speak in much the same way as the Kenyans are speaking. Because if we do not find the commonalities of our affliction behind which to unite ourselves, the Nigerian political class are systematically enslaving us. And our situation is already worse than that of either the Ghanaians who are bleating, sorry to use the word, over pitances. Because those are pitances. The children of any one of the miscreants ruining in Nigeria who spend that money or probably have it underneath his bed or so in the trunk of one car or the other is no big deal in our own space. It's an everyday thing. That's more of this chicken feed. And for the Kenyans, that they can even protest without having scores of people murdered in open in daylight by security agents. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I think they reserve their brutality for the like of MNK when they kidnap them to send them to Nigeria. Because ordinarily, if those were Nigerian policemen, there will be concealed dead bodies that they will be denying their existence by now. So 